Oceans are terrifying. They are scary, really, really scary. Imagine something moves past you, a shadow, quick and silent. It's not a fish, it's not a whale, it's a machine. In the world of defense, staying ahead means staying hidden. And now, that battle is moving to the depth of the ocean. We have all heard about drones in the sky and autonomous vehicles on the land. But what if I told you the next leap in the military technology isn't happening above ground? It's happening below the surface deep in the ocean. Meet the Manta Ray Submarine, an autonomous underwater vehicle that moves like a creature of the sea, designed to operate undetected and stay submerged for months at a time. There are so many questions that we need to answer. How is this going to work? Why is it built? What does it mean for the future of naval warfare? And in this video, we're going to talk about all these things. Manta Ray. Manta Ray. North of Grumman's Manta Ray. Manta Ray. Manta Ray. When I started looking at the UUVs, I found tons and tons of companies, startups and big corps working on this particular problem. Here is one by Andrew L. That's called Ghost. By the way, I made a whole video about how Andrew L. is disrupting the defense industry. You can watch that video by clicking here or here. Here's another one by Dive Technologies, which was eventually acquired by Andrew L. This one was made by Boeing years ago. This, this was called Boeing Echo Voyager. But the US is not alone in this. China and Russia are already working on these drone boats, but more on that later. Submarines have been a part of naval strategy for over a century now, slipping silently through the waters, avoiding detection. But traditional submarines require large crew and regular maintenance. It's limited when it comes to a long duration missions. This is where nature comes in, the manta ray, one of the ocean's most grateful inhabitants. They have perfected the art of stealthy movement over millions of years. Engineers have taken inspiration from this natural design to create a submarine that can move through the water with the same elegance and efficiency. The Manta Ray submarine is built for mission that requires more than just speed. It's about endurance, intelligence gathering, and staying off the radar. It's designed to operate autonomously without the need of human intervention, and it can stay submerged for months at a time, making it an invaluable asset in modern naval warfare. All right, so here's how it's gonna work. UUVs are pretty similar to CCAs. They're autonomous, can operate on their own, carry out multiple missions, we can sacrifice them when needed, and they are not costly compared to your traditional weapons. Let's compare that with Ohio SSB and class submarines that are considered to be the deadliest in the world. These are around 170 meters long, which is about 560 feet. And this is a Boeing Echo Voyager that was developed years ago and was supposed to be autonomous. These were about 16 meter long, which is around 51 feet and can weigh up to 50 tons. And this is Manta Ray. It's about 14 meter long or about 45 feet long. But how are these UUVs going to work? If we want these submarines to stay under the water for a long period of time, we need to figure out a way to power them and also to recharge them. To power an underwater submarine, there are quite a few ways. I would like to put them in two buckets diesel-powered engine and solar power systems. Both of these would require the submarine to come at the top of the surface and then get recharged. The second bucket will have options like wave energy, thermal energy powered, and processes like RED or reverse electrodialysis. DARPA and Northrop Grumman are exploring the second bucket in depth that will keep the manta ray hidden for a long period of time and will allow it to continue the mission for extended period of time as well. Manta ray is capable of staying hidden and harvesting energy from the currents of the ocean and charging manta rays. All right, let me explain some science real quick and I'm not gonna make it boring for you. The mission unlimited unmanned underwater vehicle station, which requires the deployment of separate thermal energy pods, as they call them, that create electric energy by harnessing the power of ocean's thermal gradient or the mixing of the warm water and cooler currents in effect. UUVs like Manta Ray could use a thermal energy port, sort of like an undersea gas station, to fill up any time their onboard energy stores are running low. Red or reverse electrodialysis is the process seen to use a stack of alternating cathode and anode exchanging selective membranes with the compartments between membranes filled 
alternatively with fresh water and sea waters. The difference in salinity between the water generates a voltages over the membrane that can be captured and converted into the stores. All right, enough of the science. Surprisingly, we know less than 20% of our oceans. We know more about Mars than the surface of the moon than we know about our oceans. UUVs will play a significant role in mapping the ocean and help us complete tasks that humans cannot do. To carry a handful of missions, these submarines are designed to be modular and can be taken apart into five parts. Each of the five parts can be transported in regular truck and they can be reassembled with just regular tools. These containers are the payload carriers of the metro. You can swap out the sensors, IOTs, charging devices, or literally anything that you will need for the mission. Tonight, new video showing the moments a Chinese warship, seen on the left here, came within 150 yards of an American destroyer in the Taiwan Strait. Chinese embassy in Manila has accused Washington of stirring up trouble in the disputed South China Sea. Tensions between China and the Philippines are ramping up in the South China Sea. Right here is a U.S. warship that will be traveling with the Montreal through the Taiwan Strait. That ship, with the rising tension between China and the U.S. in the Taiwanese water, is becoming ever so important to stay a dominant force in the region. And the U.S. military has long dreamed of building a ghost fleet where they only take a few vessels into the waters for combat with hundreds or thousands of UUVs that are fully or semi-autonomous. The Manta Ray submarine is not just about avoiding detection. It's about gathering information, staying one step ahead, and ensuring that the water remains safe for those who depend on them. In a world where information is power, the Manta Ray Submarine is a powerful tool in the arsenal of modern naval forces. The Manta Ray Submarine is just the beginning, as we continue to push down the boundaries of what's possible. We're not just exploring the depth of the ocean, but exploring the future of warfare, technology, and ethics. And that feature is a lot closer than you think. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like it, and I'll talk to you soon in the next one. Peace.